the summit, we have reported no major explosions of large plumes over the past day. There have, however, been a lot of earthquakes. In fact, we recorded 500 over the past 24 hours, which is the highest rate ever measured there. The, um, otherwise, the summit activity is, is rather quiet in terms of the plumes, and the ash advisory has actually um, been uh, lifted as of 11 a.m. this morning. Hi there. Aloha. Thanks for doing this. Brian Shiro, you mentioned there were many earthquakes, 500 over the past 24 hours, the highest rate ever measured. Is that only in the lower east coast zone, or does that include what's happening up at this area? Morning, Sherry. That number is tallied just for the summit area of Kilauea. So that, oh, that okay, sorry. remarkable activity, yes, over the past uh, several days, um, including yesterday, has been high at the summit. Just following up on those earthquakes as well, um, what are the implications of the highest level being recorded in those 500 quakes? Well, the, we think the cause of these earthquakes is continued deflation of the summit from the evacuation of magma under Halima'oma'u crater. Now, the, the effects of this um, are mostly felt in the immediate area, people in Volcano Village um, and in the National Park, of course. Um, of course, another effect that's and on us is that the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory building itself was damaged and forced us to leave that. So um, the, the damage can be quite intense close in, um, but farther out, it's, it's not having widespread effect. I, actually, what I was getting at is yesterday we were talking about the activity at the summit, whether there was a idea of something actually was building greater pressure there or it was sort of a slowing that was happening, and we might have seen the last of our big steam explosions and our steam explosions up there. Um, do the 500 earthquakes imply either one? Is it, does it give you any more hints to what's happening? Well, this, this pattern of increased earthquake activity really um, started around May 4th, and it's, it's gone up and down um, different times as the pressure has changed in that system. Since around May 27th, we have seen a change in the behavior where um, these uh, steam and ash eruptions are somewhat less uh, regular and um, the earthquakes are actually building more. And um, we're interpreting this currently, as, as you heard yesterday, as, as rubble and material that's collapsed in from the walls is, is choking the conduit and, um, in, in a sense, suppressing some of the um, explosions. But when the explosions do eventually get out, they potentially could be larger. And, of course, the last three that we had were the largest yet in terms of energy release, the ones associated with the magnitude 5.3 and 5.3 as well as 5.4 earthquakes. Now, um, what will happen next? I don't have a crystal ball for sure, but, but um, the system currently is in that state, and, and we could expect another one any time. This is really something I've been trying to wrap my head around for a very long time. Um, in 1924, from the USGS page, it says, quote, Hali Mau Mau more than doubled in size. Hali Mau Mau grew during the eruption as well as the wall collapsed and the bottom dropped out, and it doubled in diameter. Um, now, unquote. Now, now, that means that the, the crater itself doubled in size, and, and, and right now, We've seen the bottom fall out, but we haven't really we haven't seen Hale Mau Mau, the crater prime exactly get larger. Is that something that could happen with the with the with the bottom being capped? And you know, this also goes back to a, a part on the on the USGH 1924 page that says that uh, the first explosions were never seen or heard from May 9th to the 10th. So how confident? Um, is the USGS that the activity wasn't ramping up before May 9th, 1924, and that maybe what we're going through right now could have been the ramp-up process we were seeing leading up to a much larger explosion of Hale Mau Mau? Hi, this is Brian from the USGS. Thank you for your question. So you're correct that the scenario we have now has many parallels to 1924. It doesn't mean the volcano is going to follow the same script necessarily, but um, at least it's a, a close guide for us. And um, like 1924, there, there definitely could be larger um, eruptions to come from the summit. We are preparing for that and, and watching for that. Now, in terms of expanding of the Halima'oma'u crater, uh, that's already happening. Pieces are falling off from the walls. It is, um, you can see it in, in aerial imagery from our drones. You can see it from radar imagery from space. Um, and... Uh, 
it's already gotten larger from this eruption, and there's evidence of slumping along the, uh, I believe, the northwestern side where we may expect another uh, collapse to happen. And this type of uh, expansion of the crater itself seems to have really um, taken off, again, starting after May 27th, 28th in that time frame when uh, the energy of these explosions correspondingly has increased. So um, I think that is a reflection in part that, that they're actually um, removing parts of, of that crater rim as, as they um, release that energy. So is it going to build up to another big one? We don't know, but we certainly have that possibility.